Hi, YouTube family and friends. This is my weekend vlog. It's my first one. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Just want to share with you what I try to do on the weekend to live my best life. And you know, I'm trying to incorporate that soft life. I mean, we work so much during the week that sometimes we just don't have time to do things for ourselves. We're doing everything for everybody else and sometimes we're the last on our own list. So I've been making it a goal lately on Saturdays and Sundays to do something that's good for my body, my mental, as well as my spiritual. Um, this morning I'm getting up and me and hubby are going to a you know take a walk slash hike and honey as i get older i have found out that i have to stretch before i get out here in these streets honey and let me tell you a girl used to just get up and go with no problems can't do that no more so as you can see here i'm getting my stretch on just thinking about you know the freedom that we're blessed with and how to make the most of my weekends for me and my hubby. So yeah, um, if you're getting up there 35 and over, I definitely recommend stretching before you go on a hike, stretching before you go on a workout. I used to be um, a non-believer in this. I did not have this as a habit, but now after hurting myself and having pain <laughs> in, in the middle of a workout, I said, yeah. I need to stretch and I don't play around anymore with the stretching. I see a big improvement when I go hiking or walking. If I stretched before and now I'm getting in the habit of stretching afterwards. And this is a good time just to, you know, give yourself some time, get your thoughts together and get to moving. Look at me, y'all. I'm not playing. I am not about to be hurting in this walk. Let me tell you, I feel like I pull all kinds of things nowadays without a stretch. So I'm not playing no games. And I'm highly recommending 35 and over. Please stretch before you work out. I'm sorry. We have to just come to terms that this body ain't what it used to be. And I got to treat it, look, treat it the way it needs to be treated for it to work properly. So if it means I need to stretch before every workout, that's what I'm going to do because that's what I need to do. So let's go. downtown LA I'm telling you these views they are viewing you see the views in the background I love a good view and it really helps when you're hiking and or you're taking a walk you take all that in and it just brings all these good thoughts good energy and ideas um, the Kenneth Hyde Park is huge so I'm just showing you a piece of the park now let's have a talk with hubby why does like Leftovers bother you so much, right? Because it's not the, it depends on what the leftovers are. <laughs> leftovers, I do not want to eat no soggy ass salad the next day. <laughs> it's not good. But you don't even know if it's soggy yet. Give it well, a look I at. said I was open and I'll take a look at it. But for me, it depends on the leftovers. Like lettuce is not a good leftover. Unless it's been sealed, air sealed. French fries are not a good leftover. <laughs> like, there's just certain things I don't want to eat. Now, if it's a casserole or some spaghetti or some pasta, yeah, I can do that. But anything outside of it, no. So, enough of that leftover conversation. And here's a great view of a salad after that workout. <laughs> Isn't it crazy the things you and your significant other can talk about? He's basically just voicing that he just doesn't understand why I don't eat leftovers. Well, we're into Sunday morning and we pretty much take it easy on Sundays. You know, just wake up, get the vibe right. I had my little candle lit, some flowers. Let me 
So as you can see, I just finished up cutting some hash browns, cutting up some um, potatoes to make some hash browns, or some people call these what, house potatoes? I don't know, girl. Back home, we just call anything that's cut up, chopped up, some hash browns. So I did those. I recommend using golden potatoes to do this. It's really easy. Just lightly coat your pan with some olive oil or whatever olive oil whatever oil you want to use girl whatever you want season that thing up the way you want to i start off cooking this first because it takes the potatoes a little bit longer to cook really simple but gives you that taste of brunch so we're doing that we're going to cook that real quick uh, i want i wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like once it's cooked you can cook it a little longer it just depends on the um texture i kind of like a soft mushy flavor and as you can see, I have four pieces of bacon on there. And you know who came in here and took their bacon already. So, have y'all seen this trick with the avocados in the water, saving it? I saw this, I think, on Facebook. And let me tell you, it really does work. Because I don't know about y'all, avocados are expensive. Simple breakfast. I had like a bacon egg McMuffin, the potatoes, and the extra avocado is for my husband. He loves it. And I've really grown to love avocado too. So, this is just a simple. Just wanted to share. And that's pretty much how... Um, Sunday's start is just with a good breakfast um and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just wanted to show you just a few easy things that you could do on the weekend for yourself and for your family um just a walk around the neighborhood or at your closest park that's for free you probably have everything at home to make a simple breakfast in the morning and it's okay to treat yourself and go have a salad or some goes to your favorite restaurant the weekends are for you so please use your weekends wisely and do as much as you can but still get some relaxation in and be prepared for the week ahead all right well we'll see you later i'm danny and he's jay lee and we're simply living